Alright guys, I'm, I'm Tristan here with Cranky Puncher and I'm here with Lyrics. We just heard her single release for Take the Money. It was amazing. I loved it. It was awesome. I was grooving to it the whole time and I gotta be honest. I, I saw you act back there. Just... Oh, yeah. No, okay. <laughs> Just yeah. two steps, you know. A little less rhythmic than that. <laughs> uh, I was listening to it all day today whenever it uh, dropped. It's a great song. And I oh, love the other God. songs you did. Uh, they were Bad and mm -hmm. Come On In. Was yes. That? Yes, those were amazing. Thank you so much. Uh, well, I just wanted to say, so you grew up in Arkansas, right? Yes. Oh, uh, my gosh. Okay, so Arkansas... Uh, you know, you, you come from Tennessee and you got the border of, of uh, you know, Arkansas and Tennessee. And everybody's like, oh, Arkansas is not that far. And it's five hours. But then you go another three hours into yeah. Arkansas and we're right next to like Roland, Oklahoma. So we're on the border right there. My parents used to take us right across the border to go get my grandpa's haircut. He had to have a specific barber in Oklahoma. So oh, yeah. yeah, we're right there in this little town called Natural Dam. It's literally, you would think it's a mile circumference because there's nothing there, but that's where I grew up, on a farm. Oh, well, I grew up on a farm as well. That's awesome. Crawfish and rice, not cattle yeah. and stuff. Uh, so you never milked a cow? No, I have not. Oh, it's experience, it's experience. I, I, if you that. ever come to Arkansas, I will teach you how to milk a cow. I would love to learn. I know I, you're just dying. Oh, I am. I've heard it's an experience. <laughs> I, I would love to learn. So I'm going to have to take you up on that. Absolutely. Uh, but yeah, I get that whole small town feel. Yeah. Uh, my, the town I grew up on, it's basically my family. Right. And then it's five miles to the nearest uh, next farm. You can't date because you're scared you're related to them. Oh, exactly. <laughs> everybody, you go back and everybody's related. You just got had to come to Tennessee. Right, to right. Sleep. You're, you're scared to go to the family reunions because you're like, that gummit. Like, these are literally the only boys in our town. Like, what are we going to do? You have to move off, you know? Oh, yeah, exactly. So, I uh, read that you moved to Pittsburgh. Yes. Correct? And then to Nashville. Yes. Like so, where was your favorite place to live out of Arkansas, Pittsburgh, Nashville? Oh man, it would be between Arkansas and Nashville for sure. I have to say that going back to Arkansas, Arkansas's home, you know, that's where my heart is and it always will be. In fact, I keep on telling my parents, I was like, if these songs pick up, I was like, I really want to boot those people across the street out of our old house. It's <laughs> like, you know, we only moved once in our entire house, our lives and it was like literally across the street. And I want to buy the house so bad and uh, just to, you know, be able to come home and be near my family. And my sister is my best friend and she lives there in Natural Dam too with her three kids and husband. So, um, my heart is definitely in Arkansas, but I love living in Nashville. You can't beat it because you can go up the street and write. And, yeah. you know, my brother's here with his wife and, and baby. So I have to say my heart's torn between the two, Arkansas and Nashville. I couldn't, you know, say one or the other. So hopefully one of these days I'll have money. <laughs> you know, hopefully the single picks up and I can, you know, have two houses. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll sell for one. That's, so. that's a dream right there. You know what I'm saying? Just, why I'll, choose? Right? Yeah. I'll just live with Shay and then live with Erica. That's oh, what yeah. I told him. I was like, just set me up a room. I'm yeah, that's, good. That's perfect. That's you all know? you need. A me and my dog, Teddy. I'm good. Yeah. You know? That's chilling. That's all you need. He's a human. He's my son. Oh, so, yeah. we got to... I have two uh, sons that are... Do one's you? a black lab and others a yellow lab. Oh, but they think they're human. Oh, they they do. are human. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Teddy, he, he comes up to the front because I always get him cool whip. At, you know, Starbucks or at Sonic, they'll come up by and they'll be like, does he want some Cool Whip? And I'm like, he just expects it at this point. He's like, so what are you getting me, Mom? Like, you know? <laughs> yeah. I'll take the, you know, chicken patties off of the stuff. And he's spoiled. He oh. loves it, though. Oh, yeah. You know how it is. Oh, yeah. The dog we had growing up, it ate better than I did. Yeah. And my mom would make him biscuits, eggs, oh, bacon, yeah. and stuff. I'd be like, Mom, what's for breakfast? I think we have cereal. Yeah. <laughs> hey, it's Cheerios. Is that good? Is that cool? Okay, here's your filet. Like, exactly, <laughs> you know? yeah. That's how it is. I mean, yeah. dogs are spoiled. Oh, yeah. So, uh, how was it, uh, your brother came out on stage today. How was it to have him come up on stage and say how great of a oh job Oh, my gosh. Was? Honestly, I didn't expect that at all. That was out of left field. I looked down. So, first of all, my sister didn't tell me she was coming from Arkansas. It's an eight-hour drive, 
and she has three little babies and um she did not tell me she's basically my twin she did not tell me she was coming and so when I walked in to sound check Erica runs up to me and gives me a big old hug and I just started bawling it was just like you know for her to be here was the most special thing ever and then Shay I knew he was coming he told me and then him coming up on stage and being so proud of me like just tears were flowing again I was just like y'all don't mess up my mascara <laughs> my eyelash flapping over in the wind but you know it it really was surreal because I actually really look up to my little brother like he's such an influence to me so the fact that he got up there and, and said all the things that he said was just absolutely emotional you know yeah. just emotional to see all of his success and see him coming out here and supporting me it was just honestly really special you know yeah but well that's awesome well it I, again, I love the single. I love the other Thank two songs so and the, the cover you did of uh, Gunpowder and Lead. That was amazing. I've heard Thank that you. live. And <laughs> I can't choose which one was better. Thank uh, you so thank much. Thank you for sitting down with, with us at Crank It. And um, it was a pleasure meeting you. If you all haven't listened to the song, go download it right now. It's on iTunes. It's on Spotify. Yep. yep. Amazon Music. Amazon Music. Go listen to it. Do it now. <laughs>